two days facing fears and patterns and old problems coming up and yesterday making decisions about it today's the day you're supposed to take action do me a favor put down in the comments here what you're taking action on today like what was your decision yesterday and what are you going to take action on today today is actually december 1st and it is a step nine take action day and this is the most important day for anything that you've created as a new you to take action on even taking a symbolic step is important today looking forward to this conversation and later on if you guys a couple things uh we got cultivate elevate <clears throat> coming on here and <clears throat> at 11 o'clock uh, pst and that's um uh, two o'clock eastern time afterwards so you definitely tune in for that so welcome come on in and give me a bunch of likes down here and also uh put down yeah growing your business so what are the steps that you're taking today my action is to move financial future forward <clears throat> grand rising reducing inflammation take action on no judgment for others wow okay that's cool Send some exercises for neck pain. If you have neck pain, immediately go to our website and do the upper reset. You should be done by, it'll take you 30, 40 minutes to do the whole thing. Your whole body be reset with your neck pain most likely gone. Come back and tell us about it. Today, I no longer let people take advantage of my trust. <clears throat> um, moon is going into Leo by noon, party day. Yeah. Figuring out what I want after healing. Growing my business, focusing on health, <clears throat> taking care of my gut. If you need help, 28 day reset. That's where you're going to get the reset for that. Aloha from Hawaii. Writing grievance letters for lawsuit. That's you're taking action on that. Okay. <clears throat> Hello from uh, Australia. Recovering from sprained ankle. Uh, go to the barefoot sprinter routine number two on our website. Uh, that should help you right away. I would do the lower reset and that. So uh, no disrespect from family. Zero motivation today. Interesting. Haruka, I can't remember. Are you a Libra? <clears throat> <clears throat> Moving to a new state, starting a new chapter. Yep. Posting a house class for next Saturday. Yeah, Ruby Jean. Go and do some fashion maneuvers in your community. Uh, making celery juice right now. Okay, treating, you're treating your life as a dream. What about anemia? Guys, any mineral disbalance, uh, malfunction is easily solved in my opinion. Take the diatomaceous earth, the Irish sea moss. If you can get power kirk, take it. Do the fascial maneuvers. 28-day um, reset. Because if you're having anemia, it's, it's because your body's not absorbing it. One of the reasons could be you don't have enough silica in your body. The other one is <clears throat> your GI tract is clogged, plugged, under stress, uh, wrong bacteria, not absorbing. Fix those two things, anemia tends to go away. Trying to stay positive and motivated, heal my chronic Lyme. Well, um, if you want to heal your chronic Lyme, uh, simple. Chemicals out of your life, out of your care products, out of your diet. The 28-day reset, three months. People that have had chronic Lyme disease have been successful uh, in the second or third month. And you follow it. You can't put chemicals in your body. You can't put chemicals on your skin if you want to get rid of a, a disease like Lyme. I'm telling you right now. I'll take care of myself like I take care of others. <clears throat> Change my fears with love. Learning to forgive when I feel hurt. Wow, I'm starting to see a theme here. Working on my healing and get rid of my joint pain. I've been present for some months. Feel good, Tamara. Um, 28 day reset. If you got joint pain, usually it's uh, dehydration, so mineralization, uh, Irish Shemosh, Diatomaceous Earth, Power Kirk 30, and Fashion Maneuver should do it. <clears throat> pain under shoulder. Pain under shoulder in the middle, or pain under shoulder in the side? Pain under shoulder where? Figure out my purpose. Taking care of myself. So, yeah, I'll get a lot of taking care of myself here. Hello from Romania. Doing something nice for someone. Yeah, you know what? Hey, today's the day. Today's the step nine Aries day. Two days ago was the end, the absolute final, 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 final end and test or reminder of the old spiritual story, the stuff that you no longer are going to participate in your life. <clears throat> and 
getting that out means that you had stuff coming in. You had stuff that you were dealing with. Oh, book consult appointment to get implants out. <clears throat> Thanks for sharing that. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis and flare-ups, go do the 28-day reset, start with that. Um, I would take six to eight power kirk a day for the first month, um, uh, a little bit over what we recommend. Congratulations. Thank you. What's your name? Yeah, I watched your live yesterday. Your live yesterday with Claire was amazing. It was exactly what I needed. What's your name? My name is Chris. I'm from Canada. Okay. Okay, Chris, Canada is a really big country and 38 million people live with 100 miles of the border. So what part of Canada? I am from Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. I know where that is. You do? I was born in Edmonton. Oh, oh really? So about five hours from here. Yeah. And I grew up in Fort McMud Hole. Fort McMurray. That's, uh, that's way up there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can you imagine growing up in the 70s and early 80s as a kid there, right? Well, my husband went for a job interview up there about 20 years ago, and my first son was just little, and I was like, no, not doing it. <laughs> Too cold for so, uh, me. Yes, yes, very, very cold. Yeah, those implants wouldn't have made it very long out there. No, <laughs> no, no kidding. No so, kidding. So thanks for saying that. So out of curiosity, so uh, were you a follower of Human Garage or a follower of Claire, or what was it? Um. I've been following you now. I came across you a few months ago, so just been following. I, I love all your information. And um, yesterday morning, I popped on, saw you were live with Claire. I didn't know who she was. And so I popped onto the live, and I was like, holy crap. I've yeah. known now. I've had them for about 12 years, and I have known the moment I woke up after getting them, I knew I had made a mistake. Right. And right. Same as her. Same as her. Yeah. And, and my symptoms have gotten continuously um, worse and more severe, I think, especially over the past about five years mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. could easily be mistaken for, you know, hormone issues and thyroid issues and all kinds of other things. But there is something, and especially yesterday, I actually made my consult appointment yesterday i finally got a hold of the surgeon and i go in to see him on january 29th and this is it i know that it is i know that it is are you a taurus i am a taurus yeah so i figured and um 15th 10th okay May 10th. oh you're a grandmaster taurus you're a 19 degree I don't know what that I don't know what that means. Maybe I should. That means that that well, you had a pretty rough first thirty years. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And that was to teach you how to how to come back to yourself. Uh, it was to teach you, give you all the tools so that you could be who you're going to be. That is how I feel. I feel like I'm I've come around a corner, and it's time for me to become who I'm meant to be. Yeah. And um, you would have made a big, you probably two days ago, you would have had to just feel like you got shit kicked. Yeah, it, it's been a, there's been a shit kicking happening <clears throat> longer than that. And I, I, to the point where, I mean, I'm seeing, you know, a naturopath that I'm doing, I've always been, you know, very body conscious and intuitive and, you know, healthy and in shape. And I, I, I don't recognize myself anymore. I don't. Yeah. You're, things are, things are going to change, but you got a bit of a journey. What I recommend yeah. is that, um, is detox your body as much as possible between yeah. now and the yeah. actual surgery. Like don't wait till afterwards because how you go into the surgery is how you're going to come out. Like get into the 28 day reset. Um, <clears throat> um, get the anti-inflammatory, uh, get the get the minerals um how, how many kids do you have first of all i have three three oh my god yeah how old are your kids yeah i i have um my oldest avery my oldest son is 24. my middle son whoa, Mason, hold on a second here wait a second here 
yeah. They, they let you have kids at, they let you, let you have kids at 14 years old in Canada? Yeah, not quite. I was young. I was 20 when I had my first son. And then Mason is, um, my middle son is 20. And my daughter, who is heavily, you know, also just her heavily influencing me, fixing this and making this right. She's 16. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's bringing on, she's bringing the change. Oh, big time, big time. Yeah. So, so what kind of symptoms have you been experiencing that you know that you can attribute, you say, okay, that matches? I, um, oh man. Um, extreme brain fog and exhaustion. Mm. Um, I, mm. I, um, <clears throat> body aches and pains. Um, Inflammation everywhere, um, mm -hmm. hair, hair loss, um, even, yeah. even just who I am, my, my, mo my motivation, the way I see myself, it never, it didn't work. I thought, you know, after three kids, being an athlete all my life, being in the best shape of my life when I got this done, I thought it was going to make me feel feminine. And I thought that I was going to like myself more and it didn't work. It, it didn't work. Yeah. I instantly felt like I had foreign objects in me and I didn't recognize myself. Right. I mean, as far as <clears throat> symptoms, I mean, everything <clears throat> from just a slowing metabolism, aches and pains, um, restless legs, brain fog. I've been having um, rashes up to my neck that just come down my chest and around my breast, like almost like a shawl that rounds of heavy, um, don't fix. It doesn't go away. Yeah. So my strongest advice is, is get like, get a couple months of really good by clearing yourself out before you go in because the surgery necessary but the surgery is going to impact your body's ability to manage or recover. And, yeah. and it's like, you want your body to be in good health before you go in for the surgery and, and then, and, and then prep yourself coming out. Like I would reach out to Claire um, and, yeah. and just tell her you're alive with me, reach out to her. She'll get back to you. I'm sure. I and, sent her a message and, yesterday, actually, Gary. Per so, perfect. Yeah. And, and, um, She's a grandmaster Pisces too, so you guys will get it off. So hey. you know that hey. So so um get your body, get your nervous system, get your hormones as far back into balance, get your fascia opened up and get your get your gut biome. Because you can the the brain fog and stuff like that, you can overpower that with doing fascia maneuvers, doing the 28 day reset. You can hey. overpower that. Um and then when you go through it, you'll go through a dip. As your body recovers but you'll recover super fast and you'll be healthy afterwards because i see a lot of times it takes it takes a year to year and a half for people to recover from the explant because they were so bad going into it and they needed yeah. to do it but, yeah. but get your body in shape before you go in i will do that it's funny it's funny you say that because even mm -hmm. last night i was just kind of in my garage on my treadmill walking and i it's exactly where my mind went to is okay I feel like I'm going to go for this consult at the end of January. I feel like May is the month for some reason they're going to come out. How do I get myself into the best possible way before this? Cause I'm super sensitive to anesthetic. Like I had a, I had a knee surgery to remove some scar tissue several years ago and I, I had to have it done twice because I reacted to the sutures that they used and I don't do well with anesthetic. So I just, I was awake for it. Like I, I'm so sensitive to pain meds and just medication yeah. in general. Yeah. It, <clears throat> the sensitivity is when your nervous system is taxed from being stressed out, mm -hmm. you become super sensitive. Like, what happens is like you have the implants, your body's fighting, whatever. There's obviously a chemical leech that your body's fighting something. Yes. That's why the brain fog, that's why the rashes, stuff like that. So you're at your peak of sensitivity. It's kind of like when you're hungover, even a noise, like even like somebody flicking a light switch is like, oh my God, stop yep. it. 
And so your body's basically hung over with stress. Yeah. So um, by uh, send, send me a DM. I'm going to send you out some supplements because okay. you're another Albertan. And and start the 28 day reset. Okay. And in doing that, um, with the anti inflammatory, <clears throat> um, we send you our supplements, but there's a bio optimizers ones too. Get them. Rebuild your gut biome, rebuild all your tolerance to the world, and then rehydrate your body. And then when you get the surgery, you'll go in and out. You'll be you'll be recovered and you'll be you'll be good within a month. You'll be functioning properly within two months. That just, just sounds like a dream because it's it's been a rough go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. Do you work? Or are you? I do. I own, mom? I own my own. I own my own business. I have a little. Um, um, hair removal business called Wax Studio in Lethbridge, Alberta. Mm-hmm. So I've I've kind of knocked down. Get the hair out of here. Get the hair out of here. That's right. Yes. No. My uh, yeah. So yeah, we work really hard, and we. I feel like I'm getting to the point where my kids are young adults, and I'm I I need to be. Back my to goal you. is longevity and vitality, not yeah. just to be alive. Just like Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All day. Yeah. So it's um uh yeah. Send me a DM afterwards. I'm gonna send you out some supplements. Okay. But but okay. go through the 28 day reset. You've got some time. Yes. You can get and stay in that lifestyle. Like really follow it. Get the chemicals out. All that stuff because basically you can be good even if you have implants issues and you're having symptoms from it. If you follow the 28 day reset and you reset your gut biology and all that, the reason why you're reacting to everything is that you're like. You're up to yeah. here. And I then am. if you bring your, your 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 stress down to here, you have capacity to get through the issues. And, and that will that will start to um, to get you ready for this. And then the surgery is not gonna take you out because that, that's the biggest thing I see is that when the body's in distress and we go back into yeah. surgery, the the uh, the surgery takes us out for a long time and it's a year to eighteen months to recover. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. I mean, I'm willing to do whatever it takes at this point. But if I can get myself into good shape before this <laughs> and in just a good mentality and feeling decent, um, yeah. Yeah, remember what, remember what Confucius says, right? Or Gary, when I was big and when I, I got big and big and heavy in the beginning of this journey, right? When I let go. And Cynthia used to say, you got to get in shape. And I said, round is a shape. <laughs> Round is a shape. It's true. It's true. I, 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 I'd rather be flatter. I'd rather be yeah. flat, Gary. Yeah, that's good. Good. Yeah, you, you'll do well. And you're, you're a Taurus, so, and you're Grandmaster Taurus, so, you're just getting. How old are you exactly? Forty-four. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is your, this is your decide year, and it was yesterday was your decide day. Yeah. Uh, yesterday yeah. was a decide day to decide to think and be and act on a new spiritual story. And it's your decide year and you're going in your take action year next year. So that's why I think your 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 consciousness is saying, I gotta get it done by May. What's your birthday? Basically you're saying I'm ending this old story of my life. Now I gotta take it out of my body. Well, I got them. I got them on May eleventh, the day after my birthday. And Oh, you're gonna get them. I, I, and I don't know if surprised if your birthday day. I'd be surprised if the date gets set May 11th that would be I, I don't know if that'll be the day but yesterday just kind of something came over me that said May <clears throat> like this is I'm done this is gonna be yeah yeah how many years ago oh my gosh I think 12 years ago oh okay that's a Jupiter cycle that's uh your story changing remember I said your spiritual story yeah. 12 years is your Jupiter cycle every 12 years your story repeats so 12 years to the day, to the I, day. I, I laugh. I laugh. Mm-hmm. If, if it is to the day, you're gonna you're gonna come back on and tell me that. Oh, uh, I will. I would love that so much. It's awesome. Okay. Okay. So listen, 28 day reset. Um, stay in that lifestyle all the way through to yeah. May. Your your life will change before you get there, and then the surgery is just gonna be a blip in the road. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I, I needed I needed this. Thank you. Oh. I guess I'm. I guess you just manifested this. That's what you do. You're a master manifester. I do. I tend to do that to myself. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Gary. Gary, it's nice okay. meeting you. You too. Take care. Remember, send me a DM. Say you're on live, and we'll send you some stuff. I will. Okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were like, "How do I know she was a Taurus?" 
And I said, well, because I have all these Tauruses that just came around me. I'm like, she gets up there and I'm like, same energy. I mean, like a Taurus came last night, a Taurus came today. I was talking to an Aries, which is me, her husband's a Taurus. I come outside, there's another Taurus there. I'm like, I'm being surrounded by Tauruses. What's up? Take the bull by the horns. Lisa has this uh, thing where a, a bull's just sharpening the horns. <laughs> Looney Tunes bull sharpening the horn. That's what Taurus is. So uh, we're going to be talking about Keith here in a minute. Alexandra, are you there? You're there. Let me do it. Whoa. That's crazy. How many people? <clears throat> she may not be there yet. Okay. While she, while we're waiting for her, I want to talk to Hey, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to bring up somebody here. Uh, I got an appointment with the practitioner for the 11th. Right on, uh, Gallon. Gallon and Kane Designs. Happy for you. <clears throat> Let's see what the... the Aquarius says today. <laughs> Hi. Hey, I just gotta I say. Like, oh, he wants to go live with me. I just gotta say. I gotta sort of say the video you put out was it was just so funny. It was it was, it's just how I see you guys interacting. I mean that that's really who you are, yeah, right? It really is, and that's just also like the version that can go out. <laughs> <laughs> that can. Be really shared. There's, I'm, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to say hello? Yeah, say hello. <laughs> That's my Hi. husband. Yeah, hey, Gary, how's it going? Good. Good. So, you guys tell everybody your name and your birthday. It's a thing. <laughs> uh, my name's Yannick Lalonde. My birthday is June 24th, 1983. June 24th? Oh, yeah. now I get it. Yeah. So, are you, do, what's your degree? Are you like a, like a one? He's a one degree, yeah. One, de one degree, one degree cancer. Mm -hmm. Hold hard. on to this. Let me find it. I think he's either one or zero. Oh, if, you're a zero if you're like a zero a degree cancer. cancer, if you're a zero degree cancer, I have a special club that you can join. Yeah, I, I've heard about this. Christina's told me, and there was, uh, didn't you have a friend who, somebody reached yeah. out who said that they Owen. wanted to, yeah, Owen had reached out and he wanted to, uh, to, like yeah, to, chat, to yeah. chat about it, but um, it's just, it hasn't happened, but yeah, anyway. Um, what you, where, where, what's, your, uh, what's your nationality? Where are you from? Uh, I'm Canadian, but my parents are French, so oh, French. very French Canadian. And, yeah. and, uh, and, and out of curiosity, it's two degree. Oh, two degree. You're a grandmaster of cancer. You have to tell me what that is. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, you go into a uh, serious joy and you go into 40 days of truth and purpose and then you learn all about yourself but basically you you have a feeling sense of all community family you're big about family community but you have a feeling sense for it you're you're basically the first thing is to build community within yourself is to build community within all your thoughts feelings emotions the different aspects of you which it looks like you're doing through humor and joking around and stuff like that and then the second part is, as a grandmaster, you're destined, if you haven't woke up to it yet, is to is to help build and structure community. What's his uh, moon and rising? Uh, his moon is tw uh, 24 degrees Sagittarius. Oh, oh, Libra Sag. Okay, I got it. Now. Yeah. And uh, his moon and then his rising. Where's his rising? That's why you <sighs> That's where you guys fit so well together. She's got a lot of Sag in Yeah, I'm like the opposite. Like his moon is Sag and my ra rising is Sagittarius. Yeah, and yeah well that mean that that's that's why that's why your emotions are her ego. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can get triggered. <laughs> yeah, well you because when her ego gets up on the negative yeah. side, you go uh -huh. like triggers you in the emotional side. Does that right? Resonate just a little bit. Just a little <laughs> a bit. A little bit, yeah, for sure. 
yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so it was. I just want to say it was because uh, I was I was watching you guys last night on the video, and if you guys want to watch the video, go to my go to my wall. It's on Human Grouch too, I think. And and just just watch it. You guys were just hilarious. It was like a behind the scenes video. It was so well done. I just I really appreciate you for doing that. It just brought personality into yeah. who you both are. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the outtakes could be really fun too. And I feel, I mean, obviously this is more Christine's thing, but we have a tendency or myself too, to just, you know, try to perf make everything perfect and be so nitpicky. And yet when you do look at those outtakes, it's it's kind of the most real it can be. And and even some of it where we didn't put everything in there because some there's of it was so maybe, much. There's so yeah, much. Yeah, but it was, yeah, I mean, it's, you gotta have fun along I the like, way. And, and I like that journey one, too. And it's like, um, um it's like uh done my treatment how do i look <laughs> <laughs> that was totally unexpected and was what was funny about that was i kind of just got a glimpse of myself a reflection in the camera and i saw like how i looked and you know it was i was deep into it so i kind of looked half asleep and then my headband was like up above my head and it was just yeah, it ended up it was being, a hot mess yeah, it was a hot mess but it was hey, what do you what do you do, what do you do for work again sorry myself yeah i'm an airline pilot Oh, your airline. And what do you fly? Uh, 787. Oh, you fly 787? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so all like long haul international. Routes. Yeah, long haul international. Yeah. yeah. It's one of my favorite planes. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Airbuses suck. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the age old debate. Uh, so, Chris. Yeah, the engines are too small in the Airbuses. I just don't trust an engine that's that small. Oh, well, yeah. Um, yeah, there's pros and cons to both, but uh, yeah. Yeah. To me, it's more about the destinations. Oh, so so that so that means that you guys are going to be doing videos in all kinds of wild destinations, eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> we try. Now that I have a tripod, it helps a lot more. Like it helps me, so I can bring the phone everywhere. But uh, yeah, no, we travel a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we we do. Personal travel is is huge for us. So, and um, we have been traveling a lot. So now that we're, you know, Christine's getting more into this a little bit, and. Uh, yeah, so a lot, we were just in Costa Rica for five days. And so some of that video was taken there. And yeah, I mean, the, the biggest, that was one of some of the biggest, the biggest piece of our lives is, is traveling and, and uh, exploring different areas, Parts I guess. Yeah. Maybe we should, uh, maybe you guys should come down here. We can do some, uh, we can do some um, actual therapy type mm -hmm. videos and make some fun out so of it. I'm actually trying to coordinate with Aisha because we're we're going to be in Mexico in January and we're going to pass by um like we're hoping Early? to go to, to January? Early so January? the only time that we would be able to come to Cancun would be like January 15 or 14 15 yeah, 16. I, I think that would work because um uh about a week after that I think we're going to go to Asia okay for we're going to be in Asia for about six okay, weeks, cool. so that would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we'll yeah, I'd love to have you guys down here. We'll shoot some videos. We'll. Um, I'd love to do it. You know, just take it from the classical physical therapist videos and say, "Here's what I do in physical therapy. Here's what I'm doing," and shoot those and get those up because that that's what we want to take this next a little bit more. And the other thing too is, is we haven't trained anybody or shown any videos on the first therapy we discovered, which is torque therapy. Short therapy, um, uh, I'd be open to doing that um, when you're down here. Um, yeah, so sure. Torque therapy is the most powerful out of them all. But the challenge with the torque therapy is that, I mean, you can take somebody who doesn't walk and they can walk right away. Mm -hmm. but, but if they haven't done all the other releases and stuff like that, it, it degrades really quick. Interesting. Yeah, somebody just told me about torque therapy and I've, I've never heard of it before. Yeah, so we, we, what we do is and we do it simultaneously three people minimum have to touch the body at the same time and we do some of it on the table we do some of it standing and walking like yeah one person here one person here one person here. yeah <clears throat> and then you're torquing and what it is is you're you're balancing off the pressure in the body mm. and then they just walk it, it's i used it for like uh, olympic athletes to make them run yeah but we've never we never showed anybody this therapy cool yeah no that'd be awesome that'd be great yeah, yeah. Maybe I should also bring some of my, I have some workbooks that um, I've collected over the years and over courses, I like with courses I took. Uh, so I can also bring some of those stuff, those with me and then hopefully
maybe there's some sort of there is obviously so much meshing between some of yeah. the stuff I know and some of the stuff you basically get basically you got a problem in the body you in physical therapy you got a prescribed way to deal with that problem and then you've got a conversion to the way that we think about it and and if we build those you know like talking in the way that you talk to a physical therapist because you are one you go okay here's how here's how we were taught to do it here's what i do as a modification that kind of content is going to i mean we have we have probably between chiropractors physical therapists we've probably got a half million of them around the world starting to play with this but they it's just these random hacks and random maneuvers mm -hmm. and it's, and what they're used to is structure. They're used to, if you see this, do this. Yeah. And so giving them a little bit more of that helps them integrate it. Yeah. No, that will be really cool to try, you know, and to try this with other people who already kind of understand. And uh, I mean, you understand some of the stuff. You're very in tune with your body. And then with your hands and your knowledge, that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be fun. Okay, looking forward to it. Thank awesome. you guys for all the humor and all the fun and all the cool videos. We love, I, I always love it when you when you post a video. I'm always eager to get in to see what it's about. So. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Thank you so much for saying that's great, that. Yeah. yeah, appreciate that feedback. I hope okay, we can uh, make it work for January. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just tell her. Yeah, we're, we're probably. I don't think we'll get out of here before the second week. Just because um, we haven't planned it yet, so it takes second, a little time to plan did it. Did you say second week? Yeah. Well. No, I, we were originally going to go around the 15th, but okay. I'm like, I don't think that's okay. going to happen. So I, okay. I'm pretty sure we'll be here that time. All right, cool. All right, so okay. we'll plan our trip and then we'll we'll see you guys yeah. in January then. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Good. <laughs> Take care. All right. Awesome. Um, Bye. Bye, Gary. Bye. Hey, Alexandra. Hit in the eye with golf ball four months ago for surgery. Um, go to the upper reset and do that. Alexandra, you look a little bit more put together than yesterday. Oh, so funny. Yeah, I, you know, I, I honestly, it's like the, the days here, the last three days have been like, just like completely gong show. It's like, where am I? I was also, Yesterday morning, I was I was actually going to cancel the live because I because I had that, that night before mm -hmm. I started going through a detox, and uh, and then and then so yesterday morning uh, I then I I went through and did did urine therapy, and then right and then I'm like oh I can do it and then right before the live I'm like oh man I'm detoxing again, so I'm like I'll try it again, did it again I'm like good all the through the live and then uh, then about two in the afternoon I'm like. I'm great. And then about three, I'm like, oh, I'm going to crash. So I did it again. And I was just, I was just seeing, you know, what happens if, you know, like where my body was, because I, I haven't been in a deficit position. I've done this out of a daily routine, but I haven't had like feeling like I haven't been down or out yet. And so mm. I, I hadn't, I've watched other people completely down and out and see them come back like that. And I'm like, I kind of want to experience that, but I didn't want to be down and out. So uh, I was down and out yesterday and it was like, boom. Mm, wow. It brought you right back. Yeah. 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 Like crazy. I mean, I, I, I literally was going to cancel a live in the morning and then, and then a half hour later, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. I so appreciated how you said that yesterday when you said you weren't feeling good, you were thinking of canceling. And um, if for some reason it spoke to me, it was like more, authentic like you're human and and you still show up even when you're going through things yeah i mean i could show you we got this on video actually um when i was really going through my detox in 2020 2021 2021 there was a time in capricorn season where i couldn't get i couldn't get i couldn't go vertical like i was down i was like rolling the whole capricorn season the whole month and and then, so I would try to have a meeting. I'm, not, I'm feeling good. I have a Zoom call because they're all backed up. And then all of a sudden I'd be on the Zoom call. And I'm like, hey, can you hold on a minute? And I click, I go, I run to the bathroom. Rah, rah. Oh, no. and, and then and then Jason Jason's videoing it because I'm going. And then I then I shake it all off. I, I go back in. Okay, okay, I'm back here. I'm not going to be able to hang out too long, but let's, uh, let's wrap this up quick. 
And I did that. I tr I tried about five or six times to get on, but every time I tried to get on a call or do mm. something, my body would just shut down. Wow. You were really detoxing. Was this last year? Uh, two years ago. Yeah, okay. la last year, um, my it was mostly emotional detox. And the year be the two years before that it was all physical. Three years before that was physical, very physical. Um, last year was mostly emotional perceptual. And and uh, then this year, virtually nothing. I mean, uh, I kind of it was it kind of funny because everybody, a lot of people around, not everybody, a lot of people around are going through physical detoxes, and I'm like, mm -hmm. normally I'm the guy, normally I'm the one that's off in the corner puking, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> and, you're happy and, it's not you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm at a different spot. I, I, I think, it, and I know now that it was all emotion wasn't it wasn't mm -hmm. physical it was all emotional well so how do you feel today feel good i mean uh i woke up i i still feel spacey spacey is a good word do you feel mm -hmm. that yeah i definitely do yeah uh, but it was like two days ago was uh pisces and that was that was the end of the end of the end of our spiritual story so um it took people mm -hmm. out like uh, Lisa over there, she's a she's a Taurus and a Pisces Taurus, 25 degree master level Pisces and Taurus, wow. and and she looked like a train hit her, and then Jason was like was like oh like I can't even function my mind and Jason's all in his head, so it was like it was hitting people hard. Yeah, it hit me this week for sure. So uh, so we're gonna talk about teeth. Where do you you want to go with this? Oh. Um, I've been feeling a lot of stuff come up this week, definite like transformation energy. It's hit me hard and I just felt this calling to come on and talk about teeth and share my story and be authentic, even if I'm still in the middle of it. And I, I was so. Sorry, um, it looks like I may have gotten blocked again. out. We're still appreciative. Sorry. I think I got messed up with the Wi Fi. Yeah. Say, I, I lost you for a second. Say, I'm so appreciative. Um, okay, I'm back. Should be good. I was so appreciative of the responses that I saw the last time we had our, our just spontaneous conversation about teeth. And the way I felt that it's such an important conversation to have. And even if I'm still in my journey, I felt like it was important to talk about it and, and just like shed light on it, that it's coming up for a lot of people. And I think there's a lot of shame and just lack of information about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there, <clears throat> there is. I mean, I, I, I was having a conversation, like we have people come through all the time here, stay here. And, I was having a conversation with Laura, one of the lifestyle artists who's in here, and she asked, and I'm like, you know, like, here's the point. I'm at a stage personally where I can go do anything I want. I can go do dental work if I want. I could go get implants. I could go get whatever. But everything else in my body, every function in my body, my body, my physical body, my brain, my hair, my skin, my energy, everything is the best it's ever been been that I can I can remember even as a kid so how could this one thing be bad it's just in transition it's like I equate it to when I was started doing the fashion maneuvers and I got fat <laughs> I mean I went out and did videos anyways people like came after me like you're teaching health how can you teach health when you're fat I mean you should have saw the comments man do you think and that was a part of your process of unwinding something that you had to go through that symptom yeah. like it was yeah. allowing something to come up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, like <clears throat> my um, one hundred percent. My daughter is heavier. <clears throat> she's probably like maybe two hundred sixty pounds, two hundred thirty pounds. She's like five foot ten. <clears throat> so my whole life, I grew up in bodybuilding shape, muscular. Most of my life, I would have abs or or muscles or vascular very much in health, ate the right way, worked out all the time. 
Mm -hmm. and, and so I had this view of health being that aesthetic look. But then when I got into the clinic, I was able to measure people in subclinical and clinical ways. And I found out that people that aesthetically look that I thought looked good are performance, not healthy, but good. And the ones who are like, you know, abs and, and ripped or worked out a lot. When I tested them, they were horrible. And I mean, whether it was a celebrity or a mom or a dad or a teenager, and they all inside. And when I mean horrible, if you look at people that are out there hearing this, if you're looking at your blood panels, that can't tell you if you're good or not. Like, like your blood will say you have great calcium until one day you flip a switch and you have osteoporosis. And, mm. and the reason why is because your blood will steal calcium from your bones to, to regulate itself. And it can do that for 10, 15, 20 years before you even measure it, before you can measure it. So blood tests cannot define health. They can only tell you how close you are to death. <clears throat> That's it. Mm -hmm. That is a statement that I've lived by. But I had all these subclinical. I had genetic testing. I had urine analysis. I see urine saliva analysis. I had uh, impedance testing, how, how hard the, the organs are working. We would use imaging like um, MRIs to look at size or function, like if a liver is fat or, you know, or bigger. And what I would see consistently is the people that had the aesthetics consistently had the worst generalized health. Hmm. And, <clears throat> and so then you come back to the teeth and there, and it's a primary thing of aesthetics, but the people that are all healthy and don't want to hmm. do anything, they'll eat all natural and stuff like that. But they'll, what they'll do is they'll take titanium, they'll drill it up in the mouth, they'll put plastic in, they'll put caps over top of these things. These are all sensory. So mm. you put a cap over it, you lose the ability to sense. Like they're porous for a reason. Like they, they're, they're there to adapt the environment. And so they'll be all healthy over here and they'll do these horrible things to their mouth. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like there's a lot of fear associated with teeth. There, there is. And dentistry in general. Like, there's a reason that people get so scared to go to the dentist. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a couple of reasons. Number one is, yeah, generally it's painful. It's not so much anymore. But when I was a kid, it, den dentistry was painful when I was a kid. Like, they, didn't, they didn't use much uh, freezing or Novocaine or whatever. But, you know, my mom, actually, here's the funny thing. My mom was a hygienist back in the 40s and 50s. And my mom uh, did all her dental work without any... Any uh, freezing? Wow. Yeah. Wow. She, wow. Yeah, she, I know a chiropractor. Go ahead. He got his tooth pulled without anything because he didn't believe in anesthesia, and I was like, "Wow, that is brave. That is very brave." Yeah. Yeah. So the, <laughs> the question is, yeah, there's a lot of fear around it. <clears throat> there's a lot of fear. Like, like one of the things was when you when I had that infection in my face, um, and I. I published the results. I'll put it up again in my story today. Um, it took me four days to, to get that infection out completely naturally. Uh, P3OM, power perk, and some central. And, <clears throat> but when I did that, um, you know, people were freaking, people were upset around me. They're like, it was like, they're projecting their fear on me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they, the classic thing is it's, oh, it's by the mouth. It's so close to the brain. You could have brain damage. Yeah. And I'm like, well, first of all, it's not leaching from here into the brain. It's getting into the blood, which gets into the brain. But my blood circulates every 45 seconds. It's a siphon. Mm -hmm. So the difference mm -hmm. between me having an infection here getting here and me having an infection here getting here is only a few seconds. But there's this fear that's been put out about it. It's like, if you don't listen to me, then you something bad will happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. It's interesting. I um, I had like a dream about you and your tooth like around the night of the full moon and it happened twice. It kept coming up for me. It was like a lucid dream. It was like in the middle of the night. It was crazy. What, did, what was the dream? Do you remember? Yeah, I, I wrote some of it down because it was several people in a row. It was you 
then Cynthia, then my partner, David, then my mom, and then like a friend. And I had, it was a strong message about each person. And I've already told my mom and David and the friends. And, but you were the first person. And it was, I saw you, you were running around like a little kid, but it was like you as an adult, but like little kid size. Sure. And you were like happy. You were like running around free. And I noticed the difference in your energy versus when I sense other people's energies. Sometimes I sense like their emotions and their traumas and it's like this vortex. But when I sense your energy, even as a little kid, it was like free and light. And you were very like connected. Like um, I guess it was maybe your crown chakra. You were very connected to um, like a higher source. And um, I all of a sudden saw, I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was a piece of paper like something paper thin. Oh, your teeth were healed. Like your teeth were about to heal, but then a paper showed up and the paper was so thin. It was like very important that I saw how thin the paper was. And it was kind of like the words that came to me were something logistical, like something um, like a administrative thing that, that for some reason you don't want to do because you think it's like irrelevant or not important. But when you do that thing, like after it, your teeth were healed. And it was like you it was like very clear that you had already done all of the work, everything that you needed to do it was it was gone. there's no like um, trauma and emotion in your way. It was like this one teeny tiny thing that seems irrelevant, and then like you were healed that's interesting because i i I quite often ask myself is there something else that that I need to do because i I know I know that they're growing back I mean mm. like I said i when I was at the point where I'm like what if I should do something about it? Like a thought came up. And then as soon as I did that, I went on to social media and this report comes up from Japan I talked about earlier where they have a drug now that just got approved by the FDA. It's being used in, in the United States that actually regrows your teeth. And, and I'm like, I, that's what I need to see right there. It's just right at the right time, just reminding mm-hmm. me that, that your body will do it because a drug doesn't heal you. A drug tells your body to heal itself. So, so that means that if you can do it with a drug, you can do it with a natural source. If you can do it with a drug and natural source, your body has the ability to do it. So, mm. yeah. so then, so I, you know, I've thought many times and I ask, you know, like when I'm <clears throat> channeling or I'm in meditation, I, I ask, I'm like, do I need to do anything? The answer is no, 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 no. And it's always no right now. And I'm like, mm. but I keep asking because it's like, because I feel like if I don't ask, if, if I don't ask, I'm not doing the right thing. Hmm. So what else is coming up for you with that? I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's it comes back, back to the same journey I had with the weight that I couldn't understand. I mean, I went 44 days without eating and I was fat. I mean, <clears throat> that's a month. That, that's a mind fuck. Mm. Literally. I mean, everybody else has lost weight. And I'm like, <laughs> what happened? I had a little inflammation out, but I mean, I would. So it was, it keeps coming back to just trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. Mm. And I, I, what it comes up to me is that, that it's my brain that wants to solve it. It's my ego <clears throat> that wants yeah. to solve it. But my, yeah. my body is already solving it. That's why it's actually happening. What I yeah. think is bad, like when I'm when I when I have a uh, when I think I have a virus and I'm heating up and all that, that's actually my body healing itself. But I'm still programmed. Not today, but but for up, up until about a year ago, I would still be programmed. Like I want to get back to normal. I want to be functioning. And when yeah, it comes now, I'm like, wow, thank you. Okay, I guess I needed that. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I resonate with that. I like what you said about, um, you didn't use this word, but the word that came to my mind was surrendering, yeah. just letting it happen, trusting yeah. your body, trusting. And, and this week was all about belief. So changing the narrative in your head, the belief that it is possible to heal. I think that's what I was going through this week. You know why it's about belief, by the way? What? Because Sagittarius is belief. It's your story. So oh, wow. Belief, belief and your story. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, so we're in like the belief month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last mm-hmm. month we were in the boundaries month. 
protect boundaries. And this month, since we're in the belief month. Whoa, I felt the boundaries. I felt Scorpio season so much last month and I loved it. And yeah, I was asking myself, what is Sagittarius? And I was like, I don't know. I'm going to find out what I'm supposed to know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what do you believe? And, you know, for me, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's not about what I believe anymore. It's, it's sometimes it comes down to is um, it's more about impatience. Like, do I want to wait? You know, because I, I want I want it. I want it now. That's just who I am. I mean. So the biggest thing for me is to like um, it, I look at things that I that I that I was creating or we as a team created like three years ago. They're now coming into place today. So I'm I'm starting to to observe the time in which an idea comes to when when it's brought into this world to the steps it goes through. That's why I, I use serious joy because those step systems zero is I have a new belief I protect it zero. One is I love it. <clears throat> I love that belief. I protected it. I love it. The second one is I feel it. That's uh, <clears throat> that's two, feel, which is cancer, cancer, which is you. Yeah. And then three is belief, which is Jupiter, which is Sagittarius. And then four is mm -hmm. I belong to it, which is Aquarius. Five is I think about both sides, and then, then six is uh i receive it, it so i receive more input from it because i've been i believed it i i <clears throat> belong to it i'm thinking about it now i'm thinking about it that thought creates a reaction so i start getting input back that's libra to balance it seven is pisces i have a sense about it eight is <clears throat> capricorn i decide nine is aries i take action ten is, is um, 10 is Taurus, I manifest, and 11 is Virgo, I bring it into reality and I become it. But what happens is most people, they, they go, they, they get an idea, I love it. Uh, or sorry, I, I, I get an idea, I protect it, okay? So if anybody tells me it's wrong, I'm going to fight it. So now I love it, and then they go to step two, I feel it, and then I believe it, and they jump right to nine, and they try to act on it. But if you don't go through belong think, receive, sense, then the manifestation will fail. And then you have to go back. And this is how the steps of manifestation, that's why Serious Joy teaches you how to manifest. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's powerful. Yeah, I, I just started I can the... tell somebody start something. Like if something, if you were like working on a project and you wanted something or a manifestation and, and it's not coming into in place or it blows up and does the wrong thing i can go and ask you enough questions to find out what skip what step you skip because if you don't Ooh, get, skip that's cool step, you will 100 percent get it wow that's so interesting um i like this comment someone said trusting the process isn't always comfortable you're right gary but that is when things come up to process yeah yeah mm. But I, 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 I was saying earlier today, because this is the conversation today, knowing we're going to talk about it. I was saying the gift of, my, of what happened to my teeth is it's the fear, the shame, the judgment, the, um, the social programming, all that stuff. Because when it comes out, when I have those emotions, they're coming out of me. And as long as I observe them, acknowledge them, then they're not going back in. They're coming out of me. I'm cleaning. But if I participate, if I go into fear, if I go into doubt, if I go into anger, frustration, or judgment, then that emotion goes back down. Or if I blame somebody else, it's because of them I feel this way, then that emotion stays in me. Mm. The emotion comes up and says, yeah. is it safe to go out? Are you going to observe it? Are you going to accept it? And you're like, it's their fault. That's why. I'm with a narcissist. That's why. I get this all the time. I'm in, a, I'm in a relationship with a narcissist and I'm like, you are, but the narcissist is actually you. That, mm -hmm. that person is just giving you the reflection you need to see. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I had a similar experience this morning. I, this, for some reason, I got like a, a bad panic attack this week in the middle of the night and I haven't had that in a when, long time. When was that? Two, two nights ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, two nights ago. I was like hyperventilating. I, 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 was, I was fearful. 
I, I woke yeah. up in fear in Pisces. Like, and I was, and I started attaching the fear to a, a, some media that we were doing. Wow. And I'm like, is that the right, right thing? Is it the right place? It was like, and, and I started attach, attaching it to there. It was funny because I built this negative dialogue and Jason comes down and he goes, hey, all the positive about it. I'm like, wait a second, I didn't even see the positive. Mm. Yeah, yeah wow. it, was, it was intense. So tell me what was going on. Yeah, I, I was like um, staying up later than normal. Like it was like three in the morning and I was finishing some photos and then I got stuck scrolling on Instagram. And I knew something was coming up because I was like frozen. I was like stuck. And I was like, you got to get off. You got to get off. I had to pee. I wanted to drink water. And I was like, I, I couldn't listen to my body. I was like somewhere else, like spacey. And I'm kind of familiar with that feeling. So I knew what was coming up. I knew it was like a big trauma. And as soon as the second I forced myself to get up, panic attack hit. And I haven't had one like that in like maybe over a year. And I was hyperventilating like bad. And I was like, man, what is going on here? And I had all these like stories kind of playing in my head. But somehow at the same time, I knew that everything was going to be okay. And I knew that I, ha I felt simultaneously the panic, like this massive panic and the mm, I'm going to get through this, which is progress for me. I was like, man, that's good. Because a year ago, I probably definitely wouldn't have had that. And I did. Did, um, like breathing exercises which helped a part of me thought maybe it would be good if I just let myself hyperventilate but in that moment I didn't feel it so I did like a breathing like counting my breaths four seconds in four seconds hold eight seconds out always trying to breathe out longer than I breathe in and then I actually tried the fascial maneuvers too and that kind of helped I it did but the thing was I really wanted to deal with it on my own I didn't want to bother anybody and it just kept getting worse, kept getting worse. And I knew I needed to, I knew I needed to co-regulate. I needed to be around someone. So I went in, woke up my partner, David, and he was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And thought somebody died. And I was like, I'm just having a panic attack. And he was so sweet. He helped me calm down and I calmed down right away and um, just got through it. And I sort of wondered if, A, I had had ice cream that day. So I was like, I knew my gut was like really messed up. And I don't normally have processed dairy or sugar. B, um, I knew trauma stuff was coming up and also like the full moon was bringing a lot of stuff. And then C, I felt like maybe it was also somebody else's energy, like just collectively or just just for some reason I needed to transmute that energy. It was, out. It was somebody else's energy. It was another version of you because it's the ending. That was the ending, the final straw of your spiritual story that you were born into that you're no longer part of. So mm -hmm. that was the day that that was happening. So things have to come up like this full moon from the full moon board things have to come up to have that last feeling that last look it's like goodbye yeah i felt that i was talking about that with some girls how it's funny you say that because i knew that and then when the panic attack came up i was like i wasn't thinking that in that moment at all I was just oh. like, okay get through this get yeah through this. i know look, look at when like that's why i mean i have i have rules when i get it and I, I i just don't get there very often i mean a year ago a year and a half ago two years ago i get there quite often yeah, um, me too. like this last six months i'm i'm virtually never there so that's why when it happened to me the other day i just get in my head like for me it's like it is what it is i can get frustrated or i can get angry or whatever but i don't get into a fear state at all and so when i was in that fear state it it messes with the perception and the logic in which you process the world. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. You, your prefrontal cortex is shut yeah. down. You can think straight. Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. It, it, the, the scientific term is called the amygdala hijack. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I had that a lot um, when we were traveling, like during the pandemic. I was so in fear and everyone kept telling me all, all the people around me like you got to get out of fear you got to get out of fear that's what's making you sick and i had so much shame around it like oh no what's wrong with me why am i having this and it wasn't until this year when i just was like okay i have fear there's a reason i accept it and then just kind of feel it and like love myself through feeling it because it's like everybody has fear you know you have to process it and I tend to just be so hard on myself and be like, do better, do better, do better. Maybe it's the Capricorn in me. I'm not sure. 
But um, finally, when I just accepted it and like was like, I just have to love myself through this and say, it's okay. It's okay to be fearful. It's okay to be scared. Like, feel it, get it out, and then you're going to feel better. Then it's going to go away. Yeah, yeah. Because if, 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 I, if I attach my, my fear, or my anger, my sadness, whatever it is, big emotion, if I attach it to external, like I'm afraid of this or that or this, as soon as I say that, that means it goes back in to come back out. Because basically, it's fear coming out. But if, when the fear comes out, if I acknowledge it, you know, one of the things that I did when I was going through a lot of it, because I, I, I came from severe PTSD, severe. I, I, I still look at it. I can't even believe that I was functioning through even the early days of the clinic. But I used to go, hello, fear. Thank you for being here. What do you want me to see? And I would say that like 20, 30 times a day. That's powerful. Yeah. I did that this morning. I remember, <laughs> um, I remember being so, um, so much PTSD. I used to stand in the shower and like, I would have an arg. I, I go in the shower in the morning and that I, now I know it's the water coming off. It's the toxins relieving. It's my bot brain processing it. Like that's why I go to the ocean as much as I can. <clears throat> um, so I used to go in the shower in the morning. And there's a couple times I got into my head, uh, you know, arguing with people. I would say this, they did this, all this. I remember a couple times where I got out and I'd been in there for an hour and a half and it didn't. And to me, I had no perception. <laughs> yeah, because I yeah. was because I was I was looping in my post traumatic stress, and uh, I'm looking at it's evolved me. Mm -hmm. I know um, she was the one that had uh, jet fuel poisoning. She has yeah, fear around mm -hmm. taking the supplements. And I've had the conversation. I know that you're going to talk to her right now. I know what you're feeling. That fear is not about the supplements. It's not about your sensitivity. It's fear that needs to leave your body. You can't maneuver your way out of this. You're doing three times a day. Your body needs to have that mineral base and the anti-inflammatory, the power curve. There's no contraindication for those supplements. None. We have pregnant ladies, pregnant women, sorry, take them. I just need mm. to talk to her because I know she Yeah, did. I like what you said there because I think that was the biggest learning lesson for me was realizing that the thing I'm having the fear about is not the problem. The fear is, is and I don't want to call it a problem, but the fear is the thing. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, emotional. And it was, it was fear coming up about so many different things. And it was finally when it happened with my teeth that I was like, wait a second. This is not about my teeth. This is about the fear. So and my teeth is just a manifestation of it. Your teeth? Like what was like what what did the fear what narratives did it attach? Ooh, to? um, I need to go to the dentist. I need to go right now. Like it was a panic. Even though my intuition was saying no, I, I already made my decision. I need to get my tooth pulled. Even though my intuition was saying, No, it's gonna heal, it's gonna heal. <laughs> um, I don't trust myself also was the other narrative. That's something I'm I think I'm ending it maybe now. I'm not sure. Like this week feels very a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, but it would just be like panic that would just come up and it was, all, I would just look at my tooth. I would, I would see a tiny black spot on one of my teeth and I would just full blown. I would just be like a full blown PTSD inner child, like everything gone, panic, like fear. Because I also have a P complicated PTSD. I was going to ask if if you were, if yours was complicated because well, that's what it sounds like. So I, those are just words. Um, I I I don't I don't even like the words anymore because <laughs> even PTSD, it's like I had eight concussions. I had a couple near death experiences. I was I was arrested and held and confined for seventeen months of solitary and twenty seven months total. Yeah, it was it was severe. I, I got to the point where my everything shut down. I couldn't remember how to use a computer for a while. Yeah, yeah just too much, too much uh, stress and fear. And mm. somehow I worked my way out of it. But the way I worked my way out of it was I just kept fixing the body. I kept doing and working on the body. And eventually I gave enough time that that when I took the stress out of the body, took it out, took it out, took it out, took it out. Then over enough time, then, my, then I had space. I had enough time for my body to process all of the emotions that were stuck. 
and that's what mm. that's what PTSD is. It's it's, yeah. it's I mean, people deitize it. It's like this. Oh, it's this thing, and you can't get out of it. And I'm like, mineralize the body. Take the inflammation out. Take the stress out two to three times a day. The the girl who is um, uh, projecting it on the supplements right now, the one that got poisoned with the jet fuel. I think it was the day I talked to you. Yeah. Um, she she she's processing fear so she was doing fashion maneuvers three times a day and she was feeling better that only mm -hmm. works for a period of time because because that gets the stress out but then your body goes okay i need to do more so now it needs the building blocks of the tool so so mm -hmm. fear and stress are relative and they change with, with the circumstance like like you you don't have the reason you don't have the reason in your life to have this panic now but at mm. some point in your life you did yeah. and that's yeah. when i keep the energy got stuck in your body yeah. Yeah. these are yeah. just this is just emotions when the the job of the brain is to explain and narrate the environment around you so the narration gives us a way of solving it that's why we like diagnosis because it's it's a narration that lets us stop thinking about it because because what happens yeah. is if i have a big pain or a big emotion the brain is trying to explain it. The bigger the pain, the bigger the emotion, the more, the harder the brain, the more pressure the brain is to resolve it. So it just keeps trying to answer the question. And it's not that, it's not that, it's not that. And it just keeps going. It's looping back and forth. The only way to get out of it, I, I've, I've looked at everybody in every situation that I can imagine. And you know, people use EMDR. That works for a minute. And then it doesn't. They use it doesn't work for me. It works and then it doesn't. Yeah, or does. biofeedback helps. Yeah, so. but yeah. but that's temporary. And what I found mm. is it causes more problem later on, mm, because what you're doing, doing is you're. This is just a dashboard. We don't have the, the emotion here. That's the narrative. The emotion's coming here, and you think about it. To re remember, right? What if I was to dismember? If I said I was dismembering a body, what does that mean? Cutting it up into pieces, apart. right? Mm -hmm. Remembering is to bringing back the pieces. So I'm mm -hmm. taking information that's stored here in a, in a fascial layer, which is connected to an organ, going to an organ, getting an emotion, coming back up to my brain to attach what was the narrative, and then running that narrative. And, and when the body is all congested, it, it keeps trying to run that same narrative, and it can't get past it. So the only way that I have seen, and I've worked with uh, people from war, uh, child sex trafficking, uh, uh, sex trafficking. I've worked with people held as hostages. I've worked with like Navy SEALs and Rangers, uh, not a little bit. Like literally about a third of all of my career work in the clinic was that. And, and what I found, found is the most effective way because they all used all the other things but by the time they came to human garage everything else had failed so what we did is took the body out of stress consistently mm -hmm. over time and then we can once we're out of stress for a minimum of 28 days we can self-actualize and instead of going down like this thinking of it thinking of the emotion trying to figure it out we go out here and then think and go out here take a look have another thought mm. go out here take a look again have another thought go out here and say well that thought doesn't seem right implant a new thought come back down and then all of a sudden mm. that emotion starts to recognize itself and come out yeah and you need perspective yeah and and, and this is why listen I, and i see some people talking about emdr i have been working with traumatic brain injuries i had one i had eight concussions I had post-traumatic stress. I've worked with every form of trauma and PTSD you can imagine from a clinical point of view. And what worked for me and what's worked for now, literally tens of thousands of other people is take the body out of stress every day, one to two times. And if you take the body out of stress twice per day and you do that for 30 days or 28 days, one full moon cycle, there is not one disease or disorder, mental, emotional, or physical, that doesn't have a change that you can measure. You do it for three months in a row. There's not one disease that has an impact on your body. Anymore. And I, you know, we, you saw um, um, last week, a girl had tachycardia, very complex tachycardia. 
mm -hmm. come out of that. Uh, we've got children in the children's program coming out of brain cancers and we have people coming out of autoimmune disease and curing them. How? I mean, we're not, they're doing it themselves. We're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. so they're not Take the body out of stress. practitioners. How are they doing? It? They're taking their body out of stress multiple times mm -hmm. per day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually did that before I came on. It was funny because there was like um, a person right before me and I was so thankful because I was like, you know what? I want to do the stress reset. And I did that while you were talking to the other people because I was anxious before. I was really having like anxiety come up this morning. And I was like, that's going to make me feel better. And I did it. And it's funny because I started doing that stress reset once a day. And I was like, I'm proud of myself because I'm doing it. I'm doing it once or twice a day. And I just wasn't really feeling much from it. But I was like, that's okay. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. Well, I was like, you know what? I'm going to not do it on my own because I had like memorized it. I'm going to watch the video. And I felt incredible. And I was like, you know what I'm doing? Why? I'm rushing through what? it. Well, oh, what did you say? I think too is um, sometimes those videos took us three months to shoot 15 minutes. Wow. And I'll tell you why. Because, you know, when we do the Hey Gary's, if they're planned, they never work. That's why we don't do them. <laughs> But if they're unplanned, if they're if they're authentic and real, people feel it. So, uh -huh, yeah. so, but most content we get in the world is planned, so people lose track of the authenticity. So mm. we had multiple people in the video, and oh. we had somebody sh shooting the video and then editing it, and they all had to be in their state of flow to do those videos. That's why they took so long. And when you watch the wow. video, you get the energy from the video. And that's why when you go to a class and there's, or you go in the 28 day reset, now in the 28 day reset, we have classes that happen almost every day. You can go online and get a Zoom class and you do it with other people. <laughs> I got a shiver. Yeah. <laughs> that's because so cool. We, I felt that it. was our answer out of it was to do it together. That's what yeah. we did. We, every day we did maneuvers yeah. together. That's how we got out of the, the PTSD. It wasn't, mm. you know, because the PTSD, I want to do it by myself. I want to be closed. I want to be private. Yeah, I but that's the opposite of how the, how the nervous system works. The nervous mm. system wants more exposure. It's like terrain theory. We regulation. Want yeah. 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 So I, I did it with the, with the video. And then I said the same thing to David and he was like, you know, I do the same thing. I rush through it and we both did it together. And we, I know it works when I'm laughing afterwards yeah. because I'll go from stress and anxious to, oh, and I just like laugh. I can't, I would, I would get like high. I like can't stop laughing. <laughs> and so this time when I did it, I slowed way down because I was like, well, I'm not going to pull a video up right now. You know, I'm about to go on the live and I slowed way down and I thought, and it, now what you're saying is clicking something in my brain because I think I was <laughs> I think I was thinking about the energy of the people. Yeah. So I was feeling that energy and I just I I slowed down, I did the breath, like I'll I'll kinda go and <laughs> you know, I just kinda like don't do it fully, but this time I fully took the breath in, breathe, fully took the breath in, breathe and squeeze, fully took the breath in, breathe and squeeze. Because um, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about that as well, that there's a meditation for that. Uh, it brings your energy up to your, is it your pineal glands? I yeah, pineal. Yeah. yeah, when you do that, you're <laughs> activating your energy. Yeah, like, back yeah up he your basically he's saying when you do a fascial maneuver, you're activating your, uh, yourself, you're basically connecting with consciousness because that's what yeah. it does. When you do a fascial maneuver, mm -hmm. it's the counter rotated. It's causing pressure in each zone to go exactly where it needs. So it goes to the highest point of need, which then reconnects all the circuits. Mm -hmm. Fascial maneuvers is, is not about a movement process. It's a philosophy. And by the way, for you, this is the one that people don't, people, like if I need to get myself regulated fast, and if I only have, if I only have like 10 minutes and I can only do one thing, I do the organ reset. Oh, I love that one. Okay. Yeah, because That's good the organ reset, rebalances if i if mm -hmm. i have 10, 10 inside organs my fascia my skin so 12. the organ reset rebalances the hot and the cold or the balance between the yin and the yang and when i do that like uh, the acupuncture is like uh there's a lot of doctors of acupuncture the chinese medicine doctors that 
huge factual maneuvers now, like oh. tens of thousands, if may, maybe not more. Um, what they'll do, like Dr. Christian Pedretti, he he would go and test somebody. These are all the things that I would do. Then he does the organ reset or stress reset. He goes back and he tests them again. 75 to 80% of his treatment is done by that person just doing that reset. Hmm. Wow. Somebody said my seven-year-old twins love the organ reset. <laughs> Yeah. I love that. I want to do it for my kids. Seven year old mm. twins, what are their birthday curious energy? Oh, the last time that um we were talking, you asked if one of my I think it was my North Node or my Chiron. You were asking um if it was in Pisces and I looked it up, it was actually in Virgo. Oh. Yeah, you're but afraid I can't remember which Yeah, there there's your fear. I'm afraid I'm not going to do enough to fix it, to bring it into this world. What degree? Yeah. <laughs> what degree? Um, let me look. <laughs> it's resonating a lot. Actually, I've been doing this serious joy. I like very, very behind. I'm on like day two. Yeah, that's but okay. um, I really like it. It's, it's very interesting. Okay. I'm, was it the Chiron or the North Node? Chiron. Or True Node. Chiron is eight degrees Virgo, and true oh, note it. is twenty one Scorpio. So basically, you're afraid of not bringing all the things into this world because you want to teach or use it to help people and share. So you're afraid of not doing all the work <laughs> to do it, and that that's yeah. everything in your life. That's mm. why you're having that. That's why you're having all those thoughts. Mm. Well, that's interesting. So, what does that mean? <laughs> well. It means it. I mean, that's what drives you. I mean, that's that's. It, it could be a fear, or it could be a superpower. Mm. Which is the other yes. side of it is you know you know how to do every bring everything into this world that you need to become uh, to help yourself and help others mm. and to get it done. Like you, that's a very powerful placement. Eight degrees, um, Virgo and Chiron. That means that you can you can you can bring the solution into this world. But the fear, but the other side of it is that. that I'm in fear, then I fear I'm not doing enough to bring it into this. Yep. <laughs> That's, oh, yeah. It's always, um, yeah, I'm not doing enough or I'm not enough. Yeah. And I, that's the one I'm like trying to work yeah, through in my head. For yours, it manifests into fixing, which is the brain, overworking of the brain. I'm a cancer. I'm 28 degree cancer. And I, so that, that's emotions, but my whole life, I suppressed my emotions and I, I found out I have actually three Capricorns in my, in my chart. So I'm like, do I resonate more with cancer or with Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, I mean, cancer is about the community, but Capricorn is about being a leader. It's about, it's about, um, it's about, um, putting like, like I'm my, uh, my mid heaven seven degrees Capricorn. It means I'm becoming a, becoming a, a spiritual leader and mm. and you know that when i found that because i had my birth time wrong for many years and mm. when i found that i'm like why I, at that first it's like that bothered me it's like because i i don't want to i didn't want that responsibility <laughs> like mm. but the other part of it is is that I'm just doing it for myself. And if I do it for myself and just share my experience, that's what a spiritual leader mm -hmm. is. They just take care of themselves, share their experience. Yeah, being authentic. Yeah. That's what I appreciate so much about you guys at Human Garage because, and you because you show up authentically. And Jason as well. I love it when he comes on and he says, hey, I was having a bad morning. I didn't want to be here, but I'm here. Yeah. And I, I think it's this permission to be authentic. Yeah. And to show up and be real, because that's where true healing begins. Not when you're trying to force things to be perfect or do it by a certain way, but you just you're just showing up and you're just trying and you're doing something and it works and and you're helping people and I think that's beautiful. Yeah, I mean we we went through a journey and we the journey was to accept that this like this was a mission we were brought together to do, and we uh, we went through a journey to to um to figure out whether we wanted to do it and then to uh 
give up all of our possessions, literally, like to come together. And then it was it was to clean up uh, our emotions, thoughts, feelings, perceptions, which is our lives. And it, it, it was a it was a journey. I mean, the pandemic provided the opportunity for us to do this. I mean, the 40-40 fast, that is what pushed us way over the edge. I mean, after the 28th day, um, there's no part of me that could go back to who I was. Hmm. I just looked at the time right when you said that, and the time is wrong on this uh, phone for me, and it says 222. <laughs> That's so cool. Which is 222, which is, is feel, 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 cancer, 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 hmm. Libra, which is balance. Feel hmm. the balance. Yeah. Um, I want to tell you before I go what the dream that I had, the, the Cynthia part of the dream. Okay. Uh, I don't know if she'll, she'll probably hear this later, but um, it was very short. And uh, I don't know her that well, but I just see her and I see her face pop up and it's just this beautiful energy. So I saw her and then I saw her heart, her energy, and it was so unbelievably beautiful it was so her heart was just so open just giving just love it was like this circle like this circle of love that just radiated out and then she had um like wings almost like an angel or a butterfly and that was it that was the only part for her but it was so beautiful (laughs) yes she's always chasing butterflies and (laughs) And it's been a it's been a journey for her. She's got a Scorpio moon, and she's got Capricorn. Uh, she's got enough Capricorn in there. To, so it, those mixing up with that Pisces is like it. it she's had a journey. She, this this last year was her journey. Like we all went through an experience together, but we all came into that experience at a different state in our lives and our words, our lives. So so she she had a lot of her pain and and reflections in that this last 12 to 18 months whereas uh, a lot of mine came through um you know from 2018 to 2021 and so i i am recognizing now that it doesn't matter how consciously elevated people are because if i can raise your consciousness to here your life may be here here your relationships may be here your thoughts may be here your stopping and starting things be here what you open up to is here but those life and the relationships and other stuff have to catch up and that minimum takes one solar cycle because you have to even if i change your perception right now it doesn't matter how much you get it you have to experience like i'm good like i've got this now well then you go into scorpio and you got boundaries tested or i'm good i got this and then i go into libra and then the world starts bringing me oh you really got this let's try it out let's see if you're balanced then you go into yeah you know i got this and then you go to capricorn and says let's test it out let's see it's uh can you control yourself and then you go into aquarius and it's well now you have to deal with that in community mm-hmm. then then you go into taurus and it's like now you have to sort do i want this do i not want this and these are all different states of awareness would have which which are different aspects of each manifestation so if i so if i have these little ones that happen throughout the year they just i don't really notice i integrate them but if i have a big one a cathartic change it takes a minimum one year to even to even um really process it and then it takes a second year to feel it that's why two is feel wow yeah, I started this tooth process like years ago, but the process of healing a year ago. And I feel like it's coming to, something's coming to, I yeah, don't know, something's happening right yeah. now. Something's happening right now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and you'll know, you'll, know, you'll know when you have to take action on it because of the time. Mm. It, it'll be tooth hurdy. It's two thirty for me right now. Tooth, tooth, it's two twenty-seven. Tooth. It'll be two thirty. Oh, okay, I got it. That's the, a good the, joke. <laughs> you know, you know, it's time to take care of it when it's two thirty. <laughs> I got. It. Oh man. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
so I think you're, no, I think, I feel, I can perceive, you're, you're, you're coming into the, the old story, that's why two days ago, all the panic attacks. Like I said, I had, I had fear in my body two days ago, and I'm like, where is this coming from? I literally talked to Chris Pateki, and I said, I don't understand this. Like, it just came out of nowhere, and I don't, I have no reason for this. And he goes, yeah, it's because it's the very, very, very end of the spiritual story. So, yeah. so it, that was, that's why it was wow. there. So, yeah, I so felt it this morning that too what, a bit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I do. I feel like this moon was one of the most intense for me. And I, even and more than like the eclipse previously like that one i was fully surrendered to and this moon i just felt like weird and out of myself and like you said spacey like i've been feeling very spacey like i don't i feel like i'm in the fog i don't have clarity and just like a lot of things like just trauma stuff anxiety coming up and i'm like okay this is really hard so i must be about to level up yeah. <laughs> it's like it's, it's yeah. something you know and that's that's the that's the journey it's to because things never get easy we just get better and we have less things to deal with. Mm. Yeah. And you get more resilient, I think. Yeah, or more in the flow. Because more in the flow. Yeah, because well, yeah. resilience still is like resisting. Mm. That's interesting. I don't see resilience that way, but I can understand why you would. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it could be semantic. It could also be with their work. <laughs> Too, but yeah but it, more it more in the flow i like to mm. use in the flow more accepting more adapting more highly adapting mm. yeah because yeah. you know you know like spiritually it's like i used to pray for a lighter load now i pray for stronger shoulders mm. <laughs> mm. yeah yeah exactly that's that's how i see resilience i love that though i love what you're saying about being in the flow because recently i started manifesting again and I'm so interested with what you were saying about the steps because I think oh, there's a key for that in that, me. That, that, and I was, that is. It's like yeah. that is the key. We use mm -hmm. it because when we set up a manifestation, we're very clear about all the things we do. A thing, and uh, once people go from the 28-day reset, they go into the lifestyle artist, and we have this whole thing on painted picture, how to set the manifestation. So we show them the tools how to do that. Once they go through the tools and how to do that, then we actually coach them through doing that because – you can i can tell if you set up a manifestation i can tell you why it why it malfunctioned or functioned and if it malfunctioned i can tell you exactly where you where you left off and you'll know as soon as i point it out mm. wow someone asked when my birthday is it's july 21st yeah 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 i um yeah it's interesting that you say that it's really interesting i was i was trying to do uh or I was, you know, trying to manifest and I realized what my normal manifestations are were things, you know, specific things like maybe my tooth healing or a certain amount of money or something. And something switched in my brain and I went, you know what? No, like, I don't really care about any of those things. What do I want? What is this thing that I want? It's to be in flow. That was the words that came into my mind. So I yeah. love that you said that because it was like, I want to be in flow. And, and those things that I need or want or don't need or don't know, whatever, it'll all just happen or flow effortlessly if I'm in that yeah. flow state. Here, it's, here's the it's trick. more of a feeling that I'm looking for. Yeah, I was going to say, that's it. Manifest a feeling because if I feel happy, content, if I feel energetic every day, if, I, if you manifest a feeling, then all the stuff that you thought you wanted has to be there in order for you to have that feeling. So if you manifest things, it, you're always going to end up with the wrong thing. But if you manifest mm -hmm. a feeling of being content, being mm -hmm. feeling loved, feeling Enjoy. cherished, feeling uh, engaged, mm -hmm. if you manifest a feeling that everything in your life mm -hmm. works out. And if I'm manifesting, I need this to feel this way, then you, even if you get it, you're going to have a malfunction. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Um, I'm really curious to have you sometime do the thing where you said that you'll ask people questions and then you can tell them exactly when, when what stuff they're missing. So I'm really curious well, on that. Learn um, the steps first. That's the thing is serious okay. joy is designed to teach you the steps. I'm doing um, that. I'm doing the 40 days. Yeah. So you, you learn the steps. 
zero protect, one love, two feel, three believe, four belong, five think, six uh, receive, seven sense, eight decide, nine take action, 10 uh, manifest, and 11 become. And those mm -hmm. are the 12 steps to manifestation. Mm. Wow. Well, thank you so much for having me on today, um, for being open to it. And I, before, I, it's been like a while since we've been having this call, so I know my time is coming to a close. But before I go, I just want to say to anybody watching and anybody that's here, like, you're not alone. This beautiful community, connect with people because connection is so powerful. And healing is a hundred percent possible like you're on the right track we got this our bodies are incredibly capable and i just feel it's important to share that thank you appreciate talking thank to you guys today. for everything you do bye alexander bye <laughs> <clears throat> yeah that was, that was good <clears throat> i love the conversation um I, i'm going to uh and okay a couple things number one if you have physical, emotional, perceptual pain, if you're trying to move ahead, you want to perform better, manifest better, you have to remove trauma and stress from the body. December 16th, if you haven't done it yet, go to the link in our, or sorry, go to our website under events, get a ticket. Super important. If you are, this, this is the time, it's a, that is a, that's a Libra day in Sagittarius. It's a master Libra day in Sagittarius. That is a day to bring balance back to your lives. It is, uh, like I like to say that we picked the day purposely, but we just found out what it was after we picked it. So make sure if you're anywhere in the vicinity of Vancouver, get there. If you know somebody there, buy them a ticket, send them out, buy it as a Christmas gift. Um, children are uh, 17 under are free. <clears throat> Um, $60 goes to pay for the facility um, and uh, all the costs of running it. It's, not cheap in Vancouver, especially that time of year. And um, and please, like, call a friend, tell somebody about it. We it's going to be you know somewhere around 500 people out there. It's going to be a powerful, powerful, powerful uh, day. And that's two weeks from almost today, I think, or two weeks from tomorrow. Um, so December 16th, and we'll see you guys in Vancouver. Uh, we have the nutrition program. If you'd signed up for it, we pushed it a little bit. It's being done. We're starting the, uh, I think it's the 10th or the second week. Take a look on our website. What we did is we, we reset it to give it better contact and context and, and to give it a, a better run. And we didn't want to, inter we realized that if we go through holidays, we're going to lose people. So it starts off in the new year. And on the 27th, I think, is a, a free nutrition event um, that you can sign up for. And it's an introduction to nutrition. And uh, you can sign up for that. So go to our events section. Um, you'll be able to interact with some of our vendors there. Um, and if you are a vendor uh, for, for us, reach out. Uh, we, we've got some stuff to talk to you about. Um, in addition to that, um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I, I – I, uh, I need a little bit of a break today. I've got Cultivate to Elevate happening at 11 o'clock PST, which is about, I think it's an hour and, and 20 minutes or something like that. So Cultivate to, uh, to Elevate, we're gonna have a great conversation. You guys have been watching him on Instagram or TikTok. Fantastic, I love his stuff. Um, that's where I go when I want information. So looking forward to uh, seeing you guys a little bit later today. And thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you on Monday if we don't see you in, um, at 11 o'clock Pacific time. Take care.